Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, do you remember in your previous lesson we discussed public versus private exports? We discussed Ethiopia's exports, the major export products, and trends in export earnings. We noted that the share of the private sector export earnings was increasing, but that of the public sector export has been decreasing since the economic reform. Students, today's lesson is about the Ethiopian imports. Let's start our lesson by defining what import means. Then we will see the trends in imports of Ethiopia. Import refers to the commodity that is brought into home country from foreign countries for the purpose of consumption, production or trade. In order to undertake international trade, a country must import and export some commodities to foreign nations. The Ethiopian import had stabilized to around 1 billion US dollars in the second half of the 1980s, except slight declines to about 0 0.9 billion dollars in 1991-92 and 0 0.92 billion dollars in 1993-94. The level of imports remained more or less stable with the same magnitude until 1994-95. A growth of imports was registered in 1995-96, where its value reached to $1.4 billion, showing a nominal growth of about 33% from previous year. The percentage share of GDP imports consistently increased from 8.7% in 1991 92 to 23% in 1995 96, but slightly declined to 20% in 1996 97. In the year 2009, the value of imports was about $9 billion, which is a little more than five times the value of exports for the same year. This implies the trade balance was negative. The annual average growth rate for the reform period by far exceeds the performance during the 1980s. The reasons for the growth in the value of imports were construction and rehabilitation efforts after initiation of the reform and balance of payment supports from external sources. Students, now let's see import in terms of end use. Let me now ask you a question, which you will answer after discussing in groups. The question is, what are the major categories of Ethiopian import based on final use?
I hope you've answered the question. Here is the answer to the question. Compare it with yours. There are five major categories or classes of Ethiopian import based on final use. These are raw materials, semi-finished goods, fuel, capital goods, and consumer goods. Raw materials are materials that are used for the production of other goods. Fuel comprises petroleum products and others. Capital goods include transport, agricultural and industrial goods, whereas consumer goods include both durable and non-durable goods. In terms of end use, the share of each import category often varies. In 1993-94 and 1994-95, imports of consumer goods slightly took the larger share. However, for the rest of the years between 1991-92 to 1996-97, imports of the capital goods were dominant. Capital goods, consumer goods, and fuel constant.